Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we are back with a apartment building. If you haven't heard the news yet, we are getting a new expansion pack next month called For Rent, where you're going to be able to build and run your own apartments, townhouses, basically any kind of multifamily lot type. That could be like a tiny home community, a trailer park, a um, like basement apartment. It could be the in-law suite in the backyard. There's so many different things. But a lot of us are excited at the idea of creating apartments or townhouses. And so that's what I'm doing here today. And I'm actually only using base game. And I decided since this was a pretty short build to leave in pretty much the entire process. So you can see me kind of thinking this out starting by a one, one big box and then creating these smaller pieces and choosing windows and doors, but not liking that. But I liked the idea of having six apartments all with their own exterior entrance. So I do have a staircase that's leading up to the second floor with like an outdoor balcony that's shared by everyone and that allows entry to the top apartments. And these are all very small apartments just utilizing the base game. So that way, if you decide to pick up the uh, get... I wanted to say get to work. Why? Uh, if you do pick up the for rent expansion pack next month and you only have base game before that, these are going to be apartments you can immediately use. Uh, so that is the whole idea here. So I was trying to figure out what doors and windows I would like. I wanted it to go for a more modern look and it did take me a little while to figure it out. Uh, but we do get there in the end and it's not this combo. I do use the windows though, just not those doors. I also decided to change the roof. I ended up going for a pitched roof instead and extending the walls on either side. And I think it just helps make this space look a little bit more high end, if that makes sense. The roof I had before just like looked a little bit too flat. I like how this one has some more dimension to it. And uh, this is where I'm changing out all of the doors because I really didn't like them. And I changed which side of the front I had the door and the window on, which I think helped a little bit better. Uh, so I'm just grabbing these base game doors here and I'm going to be putting some windows above them to help define that space. I end up getting rid of the bottom of the three windows and having a space between the windows and the door. And I think that ends up being the best look. And I was really happy with that. Uh, I did mention the inside of these is pretty small. They're all one bedroom apartments and the living space is pretty cramped. But I wanted to build smaller apartments like that because I've always complained that the apartments in the game are huge, especially the ones in San Maishuno. They're just absolutely enormous. Like some of those multi-story apartments or the ones that take up half of the building. I know some people have apartments like that, but I don't think it's too realistic. And these ones are a little bit smaller than what I would say is your typical apartment. But I like the idea of having tiny apartments. And I think I'm probably going to make some very tiny apartments once the new pack comes out. Uh, even smaller than these. These ones I don't think are that tiny. It's just the living space is pretty small, but you'll see when we get to the inside. I did not furnish these. They have all of the built-in fixtures, so you can move in and decorate them to your content. Um, but basically, they have like the kitchen counters and sink and fridge and stove, and then the bathroom has the shower, the sink, and the toilet, but the bedroom and the living room spaces are empty. I didn't put any additional decorations around. Uh, I just wanted them to be move-in ready, and I know I could have decorated some of them, but I know that wouldn't run as well on lower end machines. Uh, so I felt like having them all empty to start off with was the best way to do this. Uh, so you could decorate them all or one of them or none of them. <laughs> it's up to you. Uh, I just thought this would be a fun idea, and uh, I hope you like it. If you do like this build, by the way, it is available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You could also find it under the hashtag Griffey and that information will also be on the description down below as well. So the outside here is really coming together now. I got the colors figured out and I rotated a lot sideways because the lighting on this lot was horrible. But I am going to be moving it to a different lot towards the end of the video uh, because I just <laughs> I didn't like how small it felt on this lot. I wanted it to feel like it takes up more space. It is an apartment building. I didn't feel like it would just be floating in the middle of this area. So uh, I did move it over. I believe I'm building a new crest right now. There's only three worlds with base game, but uh, sometimes I get new crest and Willow Creek confused depending on which area I'm building in, but I'm pretty sure this is a new crest. 
I also added those flower boxes and a couple of those awnings. I just thought it added a little bit more decoration to the outside. And now I'm trying to figure out where I can fit a kitchen and figure out the whole floor plan, seeing if these cabinets fit under these windows. Uh, that's not where I end up putting the kitchen in the end, but it was an idea to figure out the floor plan a little bit. So that tends to be how I try and configure floor plans is I try to see how much space I need for things. So I'm like, okay, bathroom and bedroom can fit there. So that leaves me this much space for the living room. How do I want to lay this out? And I wanted to get some more windows on the side for uh, the end department. So that's what I'm doing here. And I also realized that I had the windows on like the grayish black swatch instead of the black swatch. So I was just swapping that out so that they all matched a little bit better. And I also wanted to get some windows into the bathrooms, which I do end up changing a little bit later, especially because I have to duplicate all of these rooms over to the other five units. Uh, so that's why I'm getting rid of the lights that I just placed down because those were going to duplicate as well. And there's a lot of fiddling with duplicating stuff because some of the wallpapers come with or you'll have more than one door placed in the same space. Same thing with the windows. So there was a lot of going back in and fixing all of that throughout this whole process. So uh, let me know if you like this sort of video where I keep pretty much all of it in. I almost didn't edit anything out. Uh, there was a little bit of just like in the beginning where I kept drawing a box and deleting it that I got rid of. But this is pretty much the entire build. Uh, so inside I was like, okay, we want like basic cheap appliances and a sink. And I was trying to figure out where to put the stove. So I actually ended up extending the kitchen over this way because I didn't want it to feel too smushed. You could have just made it this four tiles and not had it wrap around at all. And that's something you can change if you download this build. But then there's that little dedicated hallway space that leads you into the bathroom and the bedroom. I have some nice cabinets up there and this flooring matched the counter. So that's why I chose that. And I think it's a pretty nice, like, basic apartment. It's pretty small. As you can see, there's not a ton of space for the living area, but I think it's usable and would be kind of fun to play in if you want to have your Sims have a smaller apartment. I decided to bring in this tile to define the kitchen space, and I also got a backsplash in here as well. I thought about having it extend over on this side, but I really don't like the wallpaper going all the way up the wall with that abrupt change, so I decided to leave that exposed brick over there. And I thought that that was a nice touch for the interior of this apartment. I also end up changing the flooring in the bedroom to be a carpet instead. I just find that's pretty realistic in apartments to have carpeted spaces instead of wood flooring. And I would have done that in the living room as well because that's been my experience in real life. I've never had wooden floors in an apartment, uh, but I just thought it looked really nice. So I ended up keeping that. But before we get to changing the floors, I'm just going through and duplicating these rooms to all of the other units. And going through and deleting extra doors and windows, as you can see, just moving everything around, making sure there's not too many duplicates of everything. Uh, it does take a lot of fiddling for that, but I think it works out nicely. That, and, and you can also see as I was doing all of that, there were wallpapers on the outside of the house that got messed up. So I'm going to have to go back and fix those. And there are so many windows stacked on top of each other. So you can kind of see by how clear the windows are, because if they're a little bit more blue, there's multiple stacked on top of each other, making it a little bit harder to see in. And uh, I didn't really want that, especially for doors, because I wasn't sure how glitchy that would be in gameplay. Uh, but I think I got all of them. I went through and tried to get as rid of all of those. I hope I didn't miss any. I will double check that before. This is uploaded to the gallery and no worries on that. Uh, but I think this layout works pretty well. I have used this bathroom layout so many different times and I've never had issues with it. The bedroom has enough space for a double bed and the living room, you can fit a couch and a TV, no problem. You might not have a space for a dining table depending on where you place it, uh, but I think that's pretty realistic in smaller apartments or personally, I have a dining table, but I don't use it. I <laughs> We always like eat at the on the couch while we watch TV or sometimes I'll bring food in here and eat at my desk while I'm working. It really depends, but I often will leave out dining spaces in smaller apartments, smaller homes, tiny homes in general, just because it feels like a space you can kind of leave out with no problem. But anyway, we are back outside now since the inside layout has been figured out and I wasn't really planning on decorating the interiors because I wanted it to be move in ready. Um, so just figuring out pathways up to the doors and how I wanted that to work out. I didn't want it to be so green out front because I didn't want it to specifically look like this was townhouses. 
since I have six of them instead with outdoor entrances, I'll probably build some apartments that have indoor entrances as well. This was just a style I wanted to tackle with the base game and uh, I think it came out pretty nice. I've lived in both types of apartments, ones that have indoor and outdoor entrances. Uh, I think it's nice to be able to create both of those in the game and I'm so excited to have functional apartments in the game. It's gonna be so cool. I have so many different build ideas. So uh, keep an eye out on the channel next month once this pack comes out. I'm just going to be building so much. I think I'm not gonna do too many more like units like this or like full buildings like this before then but who knows I said that that same thing when I did the townhouses a couple of weeks ago and here we are with an apartment building uh, so we shall see I've been doing a lot of actual apartments with city living and eco lifestyle lately though because I feel like I'm not going to want to do those as often <laughs> once the new pack comes out so I've just been getting my fill right now with all of the different ideas that I've had I've been doing a couple different aesthetic builds which has been so much fun and uh, I'll probably keep those coming throughout the rest of the month. So uh, keep an eye out for those. But out back, I just wanted to include something out here. And since we just had base game, I didn't have like a lot to choose from, but I thought having a pool back here made sense. And I didn't overly decorate this. It's pretty much just the pool and a couple of lounge chairs. I thought that that was really realistic for an apartment. They're not gonna make it look all beautiful. It's just a pool, a public pool space for <laughs> the units. And then I just got a fence over there. And I believe I got a barbecue out here as well. Yeah, a couple of barbecues if your Sims would like to, uh, you know, make some food outside. And then I'm just adding some more landscaping. The one thing that you're going to want to change or update once this pack comes out is there is new multi-unit mailboxes that are coming with the pack. So you're going to want to replace the regular mailbox on the front of the slot with that. And I believe you're also going to want to place down a water heater and electric box. Uh, those are new items that are coming with the pack. So uh, maybe there'll be like a little room out back, like a little extra building out by the pool or a basement or there's a lot of different ways you could add that. But I'm not exactly how, sure how that works yet. So I didn't add it to this build. But with that, we're just finishing up landscaping and then we're going to be heading on into screenshots. I really hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so very much for watching. Please enjoy the screenshots and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.